Have you ever wondered what would have happened if the new Gen 11 joined Blue Lock? Which players would end up getting eliminated? How would this affect the rest of the story? Continue watching this video to find out. Before moving on to the rest of the video, I know what some of you may be thinking. The new Gen 11 aren't even Japanese aside from Itoshi Sai, so why would they end up joining Blue Lock? Like the video says, it's just a what-if scenario wherein they somehow get invited to join to see how the balance would shift. Everything would be the same up until the introduction of the Blue Lock program. Igo Jinpachi introduces the Blue Lock program wherein he seeks to find the best striker for Japan. Not only are the 300 Japan high school students invited to join, but Igo Jinpachi has also invited the new Gen 11 from around the globe to participate in this program. He believes that having the new Gen 11 around would allow these Blue Lock participants to grow and get a taste of what it feels like to play against the players from around the world. With the new Gen 11 agreeing to join the program, this would scare off some Blue Lock participants and force them to leave the facility. Here, 11 participants would leave and give room for the new Gen 11 to fill the gap and still retain 300 participants. The invited new Gen 11 players would also agree to join as they are interested in the program and would like to see them fail as they show them who they are. However, there may be surprises along the way as they get further in the competition. Moving on to each team's rooms, Isagi enters the room of Team Z and is greeted by everyone the same way up until he recognizes one of the new Gen 11 in Michael Kaiser, God's Chosen Emperor. Kaiser doesn't seem to act like how he did during his introduction in Bastard Munchen as he just stands there unfazed. Take note that everyone is given the same earpiece to be able to understand each other. Isagi then comes up to Kaiser and greets him, and Kaiser goes along with it up until he decides to insult all of the players there and say that he's just here to show how inferior Japanese football is in comparison to the rest of the world. This would then enrage Isagi and allow him to have a grudge on Kaiser, but Kira tells him to keep his cool. As the game of tag starts, it would go the same way up until Batra decides that he senses a monster in Isagi. As soon as Batra lobs it up to him, Isagi decides to go for Kaiser instead of Kira, who is currently the strongest in the room. As Isagi performs a direct shot towards Kaiser, it gets countered by Kaiser's Kaiser impact and hits Kira right in the face. Kaiser then sighs in disappointment as he expected much more from the so-called crown jewel of Japan. If you're enjoying this video so far, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to let me know that you want more videos just like this. Moving on to the first match of the first election, we have Team Z versus Team X. As Team X makes their entrance, Team Z is greeted by an even darker aura with the addition of Don Lorenzo to the team. This would then annoy Kaiser a bit, since it seems like he's going to have to try during this matchup instead of demoralizing the Blue Lock players like he expected to. As soon as the match starts, it seems like all hell would break loose once again as the Blue Lock players do not know how to act and all start going for the ball. Baro then gains possession of the ball and scores the opening goal of the match. This would then impress Don Lorenzo and it seems like he found someone he's actually willing to work with in the team. When the play restarts, the ball gets stolen back by Team X and they pass it to Baro, but it gets intercepted right away by Kaiser and he asks if he is really their king. With him not having Ness by his side, he dribbles past everybody in his way easily as he has levels above the rest, and he performs his Kaiser impact but it gets blocked by Don Lorenzo who saw that play coming from a mile away. He would then lead a counter-attack and dribble past Team Z with his zombie dribbling and pass to Baro to score the second goal. With Team Z down by 2, Kaiser would eventually perform a miraculous goal to get Team Z their first goal. As Kaiser gets defended even harder after this goal, Kunigami ends up scoring a goal as well due to Isagi's pass. But in the end, it would be too little, too late, as Team X continues to score and eventually get the win due to their teamwork and defense led by Don Lorenzo. This would then frustrate Kaiser and make him actually try harder during the next few matches. Next up, we have Team X and Team V. As the match starts, Baro would go solo and charge through Team V, but it gets stolen once again due to Team V's tactics. This would allow Ryu to give Nagi the opening goal of the match. As the play restarts, Don Lorenzo ends up bringing the ball up the field and can't be stopped by Team V, up until he matches up against Itoshi Sai, another member of the new Gen 11. Despite their duel, Don Lorenzo ends up buying enough time just for Baro to slip past and create an opening. With Baro wide open, 
he receives a pass from Don Lorenzo and ties the game up at 1-1. Itoshi Sai then sees that despite Team X having Don Lorenzo, they are still filled with gaps that he can exploit. The match then continues with Sai dribbling up the field and finding Nagi wide open again, but Don Lorenzo arrives just at the last second. Rayo then reacts and tells Itoshi Sai not to pass, but he ignores him and goes for it anyway. The ball then soars through the air and arrives at a spot that even Nagi notices was on the dot. Itoshi Sai seems to have passed it perfectly towards the area where Nagi can still trap the ball without Don Lorenzo being able to reach it. This way, Nagi would score another goal and take back the lead. Baro would then get annoyed and start going on a rampage. He sees holes through Team V's defense and starts charging through them by himself to eventually tie the game back up and show Team V that it isn't going to be an easy game for them. Itoshi Sai then enters the flow and goes up against Don Lorenzo. He ends up dribbling past him, but Don Lorenzo surprisingly drops back down towards Nagi instead of getting Sai. Sai then tells him that no matter what he does, Team X's defenses are still filled with holes, so he has unlimited options. He eventually passes it to Zantetsu, who is wide open and bursts through the rest of Team X's defense, securing the win for Team V. Now, moving on to the last match of the first selection, Team Z versus Team V. I didn't mention the matches against the other teams because they would just simply get destroyed. As the match starts, we see a more organized Team Z as this is now the last game of the first selection. With Kaiser as the main option, this would mean that the rest of the Ego S4 would not develop the same way as they did. Team V would instantly score the first goal the same way with Nagi. And not only are Team Z stunned by the fact that they have a new Gen 11 member, but because they have another cast of amazing players. Kaiser would then tell his teammates to stop worrying and play the game. Isagi and Batra would then pass the ball around up until Kaiser gets open. After Batra dribbles his way up the field on the right side, he crosses it towards Kaiser to tie the game up 1-1 and Team V could not even react to it. Despite the improvement of Team Z, it seems like Team V's coordination, the lack of Chiguri's awakening, and Itoshi Sai's pinpoint passes were too much for them to handle. Even Kaiser's best efforts were not enough for them to win the game, despite it being so close. Itoshi Sai would just keep using his options, and he eventually scored the game for himself when nobody was open because of Team Z's hunger to win. In the end, Team X and Team V would advance, and Kaiser would be one of the strikers that make it to the next round. What do you think would have happened if these players ended up joining Blue Lock? Would they just destroy everyone? I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have other what if ideas that you would like to see, let me know down in the comments. Have you ever wondered about what clubs Blue Lock players should have chosen in the Neo Egoist League? Check this video out right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thank you for watching.